What's up everybody? In this video I will show you how to install and run the Android Universal Debloater program. Removing bloatware from your phone will free up space and can make your phone run faster. What is bloatware? Simply put, it's apps that are preloaded on your phone that are not necessary to use your phone. Some of these apps come from the manufacturer like Samsung's own apps. Other apps can be from your cellular provider like T-Mobile. And the worst apps are the paid advertisements like Microsoft Office, Facebook, uh, Games, etc. Let's get started. First, you need to install USB drivers so that your phone can communicate with the computer. I'm using a Windows PC. Connect your phone to your computer using a USB cable. Give your computer a minute to see if it installs your USB drivers and recognizes your phone. You can also right click on the Windows icon and select Device Manager. Go to USB and you should see your phone right there. If your computer recognizes your phone, you're good to move to the next step. If your computer does not recognize your phone, you will need to install the drivers for your phone manually. To do this, do a search for Android USB drivers, click the first link with the green Android head, scroll down and click on install a USB driver. Scroll down and find your phone manufacturer and get the drivers from there. Next, let's download the debloater software. Do a search for Universal Android Debloater. Click on the GitHub link. Scroll down to the how to use instructions. Look for the download the latest and click the here link. This is the latest version. Scroll down and click on assets. Download the two files for Windows. If one doesn't work, we will try the second one. Next, you will need to download Android platform tools. Search for Android platform tools. Click this link with the green Android head. I'm downloading the one for Windows. Scroll down, click this box, then download. Here is my file. Now we're gonna copy the files into your C drive. Open a new window by clicking on the Windows icon and select this PC. Click on the C drive, which is the main drive of the computer. I had to stop recording here. Okay, let's continue. I've got my C drive open here. Go to your platform tools downloaded file and click to open it. You will see the folder named platform tools inside. Drag the platform tools folder into the C drive. In your C drive, click on the platform tools folder to open it. Now go back to your downloads folder and drag in the two debloater program files into your platform tools folder. On your phone, go into settings. Scroll down and click on about phone. Look for the build number. On this Samsung phone, you have to click on software information and you will find the build number. Tap on the build number several times until the phone tells you that developer mode has been enabled. Go back into your settings. Click on Developer Options. Scroll down to USB Debugging. Click the button to enable USB Debugging. Next, we're going to run ADB Services. If you have not done it, now is the time to connect your phone to your computer using a USB cable. After your phone is recognized, go to your Platform Tools folder. Click on the address bar. Type in CMD and press enter. Type in ADB devices and press enter. The first time that you do this, you will get a message saying unknown device. Check your phone and you will see a message asking you to allow ADB services. Click allow. Type ADB services again into your terminal and it should now recognize the device as device. Now let's open a debloater software. In your Platform Tools folder, click on the Debloater program. If one doesn't work, click the other. Okay, the first one didn't work, so let's click on the other one. You will get a pop-up like this when it works. It will identify your phone here and give you a list of recommended apps to remove. You are now ready to remove any apps that you want from your phone. 
you can search for a specific app here. You can also toggle the list here to view all apps. When you are removing apps, leave your phone connected to your computer through the USB cable. I want to caution you. Do not remove an app if you don't know what it does. Do a Google search for the app name to find out what each app does. There are also lists of recommended apps to remove online. You can also manually find apps to remove by downloading a phone app called Package Viewer. It will show you all the apps installed on your phone and the name of the app. Yes, you can use the Package Viewer app while your phone is connected to your computer and you're removing apps from your phone. Type in the name of the app in the Deep Builder program to find it and remove it. You will see the app disappear from the Package Installer app once it is removed. Lastly, when you remove apps, they are not gone forever. When you do a factory reset of your phone, all the bloatware will return. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more helpful content.